TV plant is closing in Fairfield County and laying off more than 100 employees as a result of tariffs. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Barry. And I'm Darcy Strickland. Element TV Company in Winsboro says it will close in October and they will be laying off more than half of their full-time staff. At the end of the layoff period, there will only be eight employees at the facility. Element is headquartered in Winsboro and was founded back in 2007. Now the company's announcement uh, is uh, comes close comes just over a year sh should say after the VC summer plant announced it was laying off thousands of people in that community. News 19's Nick Jones explains how those in the county are trying to push through another heartache. The companies will come here and after five or six years they're gone. Fairfield County is taking another hit after Element TV announced that they will be laying off 126 workers and closing the plant. It's upsetting because you know people that work there and now they won't have a job right before the holidays. We're falling by the wayside. We need a better life than Fairfield County. And I don't see it getting no better. It getting worse. The TV plant has been in Winsboro since 2007. Element sent a notice to the South Carolina Department of Employment and Workforce saying the layoff and closure is a result of the new tariffs that were recently and unexpectedly imposed on many goods imported from China, including the key television components used in our assembly operations in Winsboro. It was a gut blow when we hadn't even a chance to breathe in Fairfield uh, since the reactors uh, being hurt. Fairfield County State Senator Mike Fanning says the county can't catch a break and now is one of the top counties that lead in unemployment. It changes families, complete lives, their ability to make mortgage payments, their ability to put food on the table. While one of his priorities is helping those being laid off find new jobs close by, Fanning is also seeking help from Governor Henry McMaster. President Trump and, and our governor have a relationship. I have asked him to reach out to the president to ask for exemptions to this tariff uh, for the parts that we use here. He is committed to to working to help us. While Fanning hopes an exemption will help save the jobs at Element, the community hopes something changes soon. I just hope somebody comes in so people will have a job and won't have to travel to build our economy back up here. This is a good little town. In Winsboro, Nick Jones, News 19, WLTX. Well, they are hoping to reopen in three to six months, but they're uncertain at this time. Now, we caught up with the governor today about the decision to shut down Element because of the tariffs. He says in the long run, tariffs will be good for our state. It's a sad, it's a sad moment, but again, these tariffs are, are works in progress. You know, some will be, be announced or proposed, and then they're changed, and then there are exceptions. And I'm hoping that when, the, when all the work is done, and all the facts are known that the businesses and industries in South Carolina will not be hurt, but instead will prosper. Meanwhile, the Democratic nominee for governor, James Smith, released the following statement on the closure. He says that Winsboro and Fairfield County have had far more than their share of horrible news lately. He and his running mate are extending heartfelt sympathies to the people of Fairfield County at what he calls this terrible moment.